Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Dealership Digest. I'm your host, Chris Paulino, and today we're talking about your dealership sales process and the one-day close, because let's face it, as a dealership, the quicker we close our customers, the quicker we close our internet leads, the quicker we get those internet leads in and set those appointments and close the deal, the more profits we make, right? Because the less time our sales team can spend inside of a deal and close the deal, the more money we make per deal. So for example, if you're an RV salesperson or an RV sales manager and your sales team has a habit of letting their customers come back next month, next year, in five years, in 10 years, or if you're a boat dealership and your salespeople get in the habit of letting your customers come back next year, next month, five years, whatever the case is, then you're going to have a hard time maximizing your profits because the whole goal is to get the deal done today, right? Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. The quicker we get the deal done, the more we maximize our profits. But if we get the internet lead today and we let it cool off, we don't set the appointment, we don't have a sales process, a sales process designed to close the deal when they come in, then we're missing out on profit. We're making it so our salespeople are spending more time in the deal. And because of that, they cannot talk to as many customers. So for example, if you're an RV salesperson, your car salesperson, your boat, your motorcycle, whatever the case is, if they can get a deal done in an hour and they work an eight hour day, that means they can close eight customers a day. If they get a deal done in eight hours, then that means they can close one deal a day, right? So we have to make sure our sales process is efficient and it's designed to get the deal done today. And that's why we're talking about the one-day close. Because at the end of the day, when we, lower, when we get our dealership, when we get their internet leads, we get our customer, our customer leads, if we can lower that cost per lead by doing some efficient marketing, by doing some online marketing, some videos, some Facebook Lives, YouTube Lives, video lives, you know, whatever kind of creative marketing you're going to do to get customers on your website to create that internet and customer lead, that phone call, whatever you're going to do, when we get the lower cost per lead, now we can, again, maximize those profits by focusing on training our sales team, training our sales managers, and focusing on how can our process get better at closing the deal today, right? Because we don't want to fall in that habit of getting an internet lead and closing them next week. You know, as I've said, we got to make sure that we are focusing on closing them today. Less time in deal, higher profits, right? So if we're going to do that, how do we do it? We train our sales team to focus on our customers. Ask the right questions. Learn our customers' true emotions, their true wants, their true needs, their true desires, okay? We got to make sure we know what our customers are looking for and why they're, why they're looking for it. Because there's a reason your customer gave you an internet lead today, right? And not tomorrow and not next week and not next year. It's because, you know, they just missed out on a camping trip that all their friends went on and they didn't get to go on because they didn't have an RV right? Or maybe they spent a weekend boating with their friends and their family, and they were the only people there who didn't have a boat. So that's why they're at the boat dealership. Or maybe they went on a poker run or, or a motorcycle ride with friends and family, and maybe they had to drive their car behind them because they didn't have a motorcycle to drive, right? So all of these different things are emotional reasons why your customers are Hitting your website, hitting your dealership, looking at your products today. And the reason you see that internet lead come across your, you know, come across your website or your back end, or the reason you get the customer, you know, calling your phone and saying, hey, what's the price on this unit? Or can we come test drive a unit? Or can, can we come in and take a look at that RV? The reason you get that is because your customers have a problem they want to solve, right? They want to maybe... Uh, for example, they want to start RVing. They want to start camping with their family and friends. The only way they can do that is if they buy an RV. Again, maybe they want to start 
motorcycling and traveling the U.S. and they want to do the east to west coast kind of motorcycle ride with their uh, significant other or their friends or family or whatever they're going to do, right? There's many reasons why a customer would come take a look at your products now instead of in five months. And we have to make sure in our one-day sales process that our closes are designed and leveraging those emotions of our customer, right? Because if our customer comes in and says, hey, I'm looking for an RV because I want to travel with my family. I want to travel with my friends. I want to take my, you know, daughter. I want to take my son camping, fishing, uh, you know, whatever the, the, whatever the deep reasons are, whatever the true emotions are, then we have to make sure that we ask the right questions to pull those wants out of our customers we have to make sure we go past surface level, ask who, what, when, where, why, and how you're going to be using that RV, why you truly want it, or who, what, when, where, why you're going to be using that car or that motorcycle or that boat, so that we can truly learn our customers, our emotions, needs, and wants, right? Because when we do that, then we can, we can close the deal today, right? Because we're addressing the fact that, hey, listen, you went camping with your family and friends last weekend and you had to be in a tent while they were in travel trailers and fifth wheels, having their friends and family inside, cooking them food, entertaining them, you know, while you got a wet floor, you, you, no one can come sit in your tent, it's not comfortable and, you know, you didn't enjoy your time as much as you could have. So now this week I'm at your RV dealership and I'm saying, hey, I have this truck, I want to buy this RV because I want to camp like my family and my friends do. Now, if we let the customer walk out our dealership today and we don't close the deal, well, tomorrow things happen, like the coronavirus or, you know, other things. And then their mind shifts, their focus shifts. It's not as important to go camping many, anymore, right? When in fact it, it, it is as important to go camping because they want to create those memories, those priceless um, you know, trips, those priceless things that they're going to remember. They want to create that, but the world and life has put things in front of them to make them forget about that, you know, camping trip they spent in a tent or on the ground, right? Or it makes them forget the boating trip that they went to when they didn't have a boat, so they really kind of just watched everybody else boat from the sidelines or from the shore. Or, um, you know, if you were the guy that's driving the 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 vehicle, you know, you're, you're in a poker run, right? You're in a motorcycle poker run and you're driving a car in the poker run because you don't own a motorcycle, right? You're sitting there thinking like, man, as cool as it is to be driving this, you know, Corvette or whatever I have in this poker run, it'd be much better if I had a motorcycle, right? So I show up to the dealership, I put the internet lead, I'm talking to my salesperson and hey, I want to start doing poker runs. I want to give my girl, my guy, my whoever's going to be on the back of the bike, I want to get them out there, and I just want to cruise the open road, right? And there's no other way to do it by getting them to buy the products that they're looking at today. Again, so when we focus on that, when we focus on closing our internet leads, our customers today, and we focus on getting a low cost per lead, and we focus on maximizing our profits per deal by speeding up our sales process, you know, going from an eight-hour close to a four-hour close to a one-hour close, or we, you know, what we increase the amount of leads and customers that we're speaking to, so, you know, our marketing budget's working more efficiently and we're getting more conversations started with our sales team. When we start doing these things, we start seeing the profits increase, right, because we're spending less time in deal, our salespeople are spending less time with the customers and closing more deals in turn. And it's a win-win for everybody. So we got to make sure that we're focused on that one-day close. And the way that I've come to find out or the one thing that I think's helped me in dealerships with a one-day close is closing towards my customers' emotions. You know, asking them who, what, when, where, why you're going to be using this RV. So for example, if I have a customer come see me and, I, and, and they tell me, you know, hey, I'm looking at an RV. The reason I'm looking at an RV is because I want to go camping with my family, with my friends, um, so on and so forth. I'm going to go past surface level and say, oh, awesome. Why, does it, why is it important for you to go camping with your family and friends? Right? They're going to say something like, well, it's important for me because 
man, every weekend, me and my family and my friends, we go out to the campground, we get some beers, we get some burgers, some steaks, we grill out, we have a fun time, we play cornhole, we, you know, we tell stories around the fire, we all have kids, so the kids have fun, they go to the pool, they go to the lake, the, you know, they're creating memories, I get to see my kids have fun, we're having fun, and you know, we're just having a blast, and we love doing it as a family, all of our friends are into it, all of our family into it, there's probably 30 or 40 of us that are at the same campground, they all have their own spots, and you know, that's why I want to buy an RV, because, well, there's a spot opening this campground, and you know, if I want to continue the tradition of going to the campground and doing this with my family and friends, then, well, I got to buy an RV, get my spot, and start taking a part of, you know, the festivities, right? So if I don't go past surface level, I stop at, you know, hey, let me ask you this. Why do you want to buy an RV? And they say, oh, well, you know, I want to buy an RV so I can start going camping with my family and friends. Okay, great. We have tons of RVs at our dealership. Come with me. Follow me out to the dealership. Let's take a look at everything right? I didn't go past surface level. I asked them one question that, you know, got them to tell me that, yes, they want an RV because they want to go camping, but it doesn't create any emotion. It doesn't create any kind of, you know, any kind of any, any love, any emotion in the deal. So your customer doesn't care. They're like, okay, let's go out to the lot, look at RVs. But you haven't done enough to build value in your product by asking the right questions and digging deep to really learn that. So then when you ask, a, you know, a <clears throat> what I say is going past surface level, when you ask another question and say, well, why is it important for you to go camping with your family and friends? And they say, you know, a long-winded answer, um, you know, like in my example there, how they just, you know, want to camp with their family and friends and continue on the tradition, right? And then you can say, well, what, what are you going to be doing in your RV? You know, how are you going to be using it while you and your 40 friends and family are at the campground? And they something like, you know what, the way that we use it, we like to have an outdoor grill, we like to have a big awning, um, you know, most of the time uh, people are hanging out outside and we kind of got picnic tables and cornhole boards around the, around the camp area. Um, so, you know, people kind of hang out front and everybody kind of cooks at their own camper. So, you know, I'd like to have an outdoor kitchen so that, you know, while I'm out there cooking, I can still be spending time with my family or friends or watching my kids play cornhole and so on and so forth. So you see how I continue to go deeper and ask who, what, when, where, why, and how they're going to use their RV, why it's important for them to have an RV, why it's important for you to spend time with your family and friends, why it's important for you to watch your kids grow up in a campground, why it's important for you to teach your son how to camp and how to fish and how to do these things. What happens is as a customer, I sit there and I have to think, well, why is it important for me to teach my son how to fish? right? That's a pretty deep question because everybody wants to teach their son, every male, or well, maybe even females too, every person wants to teach their son, their daughter how to do things that they did as a kid or that they're passionate about. So, you know, that's a deep question, right? But if you don't ask, you know, hey, why is it important for you to take your son on a fishing trip or to take your son camping, then maybe that customer never thought about the answer. Maybe they just thought about, hey, it'd be fun to go camping. But maybe they didn't think about teaching their kid how to fish or creating these memories or doing some of these things that you kind of drum up with your questioning of who, what, when, where, why, how you're going to use these products, how you're going to use my RV, how you're going to use my motorcycle. For example, if I have someone in my motorcycle dealership and you know, I ask them, you know, how are you going to be using your motorcycle? And they say, well, man, it's really been my goal in, in my whole life to travel the U.S., you know, kind of just get on my bike, go wherever the front tire takes me, and really just kind of see the United States for what it really is on a motorcycle, right? Well, now, now again, I can stop at surface level. I can say, okay, well, I got tons of bikes here. Let's go take a look. Hop out on the dealership. Let's roll, right? Or... I can keep asking questions and say something like, oh, okay, well, I hear what you're saying. That sounds awesome. Why is it important for you to travel all 50 states on your motorcycle? Oh, well, it's important to me because, well, my father did it, and he told me how much of a blast he had. And every single time at Christmas when I was around my father or holidays or any time we hung out, he would always tell me stories about different things that happened on his trip. For 50 years, I've been hearing stories about my dad's weekend trips on his motorcycle, and they're all different, right? 
So I want to be able to tell my friends, my family, those kind of stories about my motorcycle trips. And I want to travel the U.S. And I want to go from East Coast to West Coast. And it's just something I want to do because, well, we only live once. And, you know, I can't take my money with me. So that's why I want to buy a motorcycle, right? That's much deeper than if they just say, you know, I want to buy a motorcycle to travel the U.S., right? That gets the customer thinking. It gets the emotion flowing. It gets their juices flowing. And it gets them thinking about why it's important to them to travel around on a motorcycle or to use your product that your dealership sells. And that's very important when you're talking about closing the deal because customers buy with emotion and they justify with logic. So while you're doing this, while you're, you know, asking them who, what, when, where, why, how you're going to use your product, okay, and when you're asking them, you know, who, what, when, where, why, and how to go past surface level and go in two, three, four levels deep if you need to, when you're doing that to learn your customer and to, to get their true emotions, their true wants, you're also doing yourself a favor because you're letting your customer build in their own mind's eye them owning a motorcycle and why it's truly something that they want to do. You know, why it truly matters for them to go camping with their family and friends. Why it truly matters for them to go on a motorcycle, right? So you got to understand that. And that's the biggest thing I can say about a one-day close is that has to be designed about closing on your customer's emotions. And then when your customer says, well, you know, I hear what you're saying, but uh, you know, I got to take a day to think about it, right? They come to your dealership, you got them on the perfect motorcycle, you got them on the perfect car, the perfect RV, whatever it is, and, and they still got to think about it, right? You as a salesperson know that you're going to make their life better by getting them this RV or this motorcycle or whatever because you're allowing them to live their dreams with their family, their friends. You're allowing them to travel the United States, right? So you can easily just kind of over, the way I overcome the objection is I say, well, I hear what you're saying, but let me ask you this. Why do you want to continue to wait? Why do you want to continue to wait on teaching your son how to go fishing and camping with your family and friends and creating those memories that are priceless? The longer you wait, the older your kids get, the less you can teach them. So buy the RV today so that you can actually start creating those memories that truly matter to you. Sign right here. Or why do you want to keep waiting on buying this motorcycle, you know? Uh, oh, oh, the guy with the motorcycle. Oh, I, I got I to gotta think about it. Well, I hear what you're saying, but let me ask you this. Why do you got to think about it, right? You want to travel the United States. You want to go past all 50 states in your motorcycle. You want to go east, you want to go east coast to west coast. For a very small monthly payment, you can start doing that today in your motorcycle, and you can start living your dreams. We're never promised tomorrow, and if you don't buy your bike today, who knows if you'll ever accomplish that goal, right? So do yourself a favor. Stop torturing yourself. Buy that motorcycle today and start living your best life. Sign right here, right? So when you use things like that and you say, you know, I hear what you're saying, but let me ask you this, and you go back towards those customers' emotions, you're going to close more deals, right? And that's what you got to focus on. Focus on creating a one-day close at your dealership. How I can get an internet lead. Turn it into an appointment. Turn that appointment, in, uh, turn that appointment into an interview and qualify. The interview and qualify into a demo. The demo to a write-up. The write-up to a close. And then when your sales team starts doing that with all their customers, you're going to maximize your profits and you're going to create more happy customers. So make sure you're doing this in your dealership if you want to sell more RVs, boats, cars, whatever you sell, because it's going to help you maximize your profits so that you can stay in it for the long game. This is Dealership Digest. I'm Chris Paulino. Keep tuning in, so, and we're going to talk about how to sell more units at your dealership. So I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching Dealership Digest presented by IMR. To see more episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. And if you need digital training for your dealership, visit us online at imr.training or infinitemediaresources.com.